Today I'm going to share with you a really quick, unique and not so mainstream way to dodge and burn and really sculpt out the face and make your subject stand out in the photo. Now some of you might not agree with the method because this is totally different from the conventional method but this method gets your images from flat to fabulous in no time so make sure that you stick around and stay tuned. Before we begin, thanks to Jim Smith from James for Photography for this image. You can check more of his work right here. So create a curves adjustment layer and take it all the way up and make it really, really br bright from the middle. Take it all the way up, blow out the highlights, totally blow, blow out the highlights. That's okay. Let's do it somewhere around here. Now that's okay. Just minimize that. Create another curves adjustment layer. Let's turn it off and create another curves adjustment layer. Where did curves go? There it is. Now this time do it, do the exact opposite. Take it totally dark. Something like this. Okay. Now let's close it. Now invert the mask. Control I. Invert the mask. Turn it back on. Invert the mask. And you can name it bright. You can name it dark. This is for the bright shades. You can, this is for the dark shades. You can also name it dodge and burn. Whatever you want. Depends upon your terminology. Okay. And your nomenclature, of course. Now select the bright layer and just select the areas, paint over the areas that you want to put forward, that you want to pop out, that you want to accentuate. Okay. That's already bright and uh, that you want to bring forward. Think of it this way. If you had to keep a focal plane straight through your face like this, you don't want to do that in real life. Which areas would be protruding? Keep that in mind and paint lines over those areas. Select the brush, make sure the edge is a little hard, make it a little smaller and just paint lines. That's all you have to do. The forehead, you want to brighten the forehead, just paint some lines. There you go. You might want to brighten this area. Okay, good. Now the nose, just paint some lines. Simple. The cheek, just paint the lines. This chin area, maybe this area just a little bit, maybe a little bit here. No, that's okay. And that's pretty much it, I guess. Something like this. Just paint lines over the areas. And if you're good at art, you're getting this, I know. So what else areas are bright? That's okay. That's bright. That's bright. We have pretty much got most of our areas okay. So that's pretty much fine. Now see the magic. We have painted over the brighter areas. You can just click here and there over the ear just to have some fun. And then all you have to do, you have to go to the properties of this mask. To go to the properties, you can go to windows and you can open the properties. There you have it. Okay. Now just increase the feather. Do maybe 57, 55 works fine. There you go. Let's look at the before. Look at the after. Makes loads of different. You can always paint in a little here if you want to. It's looking a little off right here. Okay. Let's look at the difference. So this is the before. This is the after. You can always go ahead and control the feather from here. And that's fine. That's 50 is good, I guess. Okay. Now you can always increase or decrease the opacity decrease the opacity. If you want more of a brightness, you can make a duplicate of this one, but we don't want that. This is fine. Maybe you want to decrease the opacity to 80 and that's good. Now this is changing the color just a little bit. You can also, what you can do, you can change the blend mode to luminosity. This will not affect the colors. Okay. In the dark layer, you just have to paint over the areas that you want to put away from the frame that is already dark, that is away from your camera. Okay. You're getting the idea, right? So you just have to Paint over maybe here, maybe here. Okay. Now that's good. Maybe a little near the nose, a little there, maybe here, maybe a little here. Okay. Now do the same thing. Where did the properties go? Windows, properties, and just increase the feather. Two. This time it's more, maybe 55 is good. 
Click OK. Now it's changing the colors. Change the blend mode from normal to luminosity. It will not change the colors. Now it's a bit dark. You can decrease the opacity. Sometimes we go overboard to 60 is fine. Let's look at the before and after really quickly. How much of effect this has made? Control G before after. It has sculpted out the face really well. You can decrease the opacity. This is too much. Okay, before, after. So, isn't that great? Now, to make the work really fast, what you can do, you can make an action for just creating the curves. Just creating the two curves layer, and there you have it. You just have to paint and blur the area. So that's how you dodge and burn with the speed, like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give us a like, and not just give us a like, subscribe, and not just subscribe, click on that bell button so that you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Also, thanks a lot for watching.